Hello beautiful people, losing Drea here. And today it is Thursday, it is one day before my actual weigh-in day. I think the ladies who uh, started the new challenge uh, for the 21 day no junk food challenge, which I'm on day number six today of, um, they are weighing in on Saturdays because it was Saturday I think when we started the challenge, which was April the 2nd. It didn't start on April the 1st, it started on April the 2nd. You don't... Thank you. Um, some people are courteous sometimes and I don't trust them and others even when they tell you to go. Anyways, um, so basically this is like a rant video, okay? This is like me coming at you guys. Um, talking about my scale. I do not know what in the world is going on with the stupid thing. It is giving me fits or whatever. One day it seems to work. The next day I'm not sure if it does or it doesn't or if it's me. I mean, I'm not, I'm not eating all my calories for the day. I'm eating really clean and healthy and I'm, I'm even exercising. And it seems like when I don't exercise, and I don't drink a lot of water, or in my case, iced tea unsweetened with a sweetened low, because um, I'm not like thirsty all the time. I end up losing weight when I don't do that. But now, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm doing 60 minutes of dance at least every night, on top of making sure I'm drinking like 32 to 64 ounces of tea at least, you know, which is a lot more than I normally do. And, and the weight's going up and up and up, and like ever since last Saturday, it's like a couple ounces here and a few ounces there, and it's like four or six ounces. And I'm thinking it's the scale, so like today I get on the scale, because I do weigh myself every day, so like if you're just coming onto my channel, I, I always say this just about every video where I speak about my weight and I speak about my scale. I'm having coffee today, believe it or not, my black with my one sweet low. I haven't had coffee. It's been so long. I figured I'll just have a cup. It wasn't like I was craving it or anything. I just felt like having it, you know, a little pep, pep me, pick me up, whatever. But, um, so, yeah, I'm like, I don't want to make this a huge video or anything, but, you know, I do want to, like, try to do videos every day for you guys. And I'm still behind, by the way. I know that I mentioned in one of my other videos that I'm late with my Monday mini food review video. And I swear to you guys, I get so, um, let me say, kind of, what's the word for it? Sidetracked. That's a good way of putting it. I get sidetracked when I'm trying to do... Um, editing and things like that and working at the same time. So I really, really, really seriously from the bottom of my heart apologize about that. So like don't anybody come on my channel and say, oh it better not be a Monday mini food review. It should be more like a Thursday or Friday one because you never get them out on time. Sorry. Anyways, so like the scale, getting back to the scale. So I today I get on the scale and it reads like 248 I think it was 248.2. I get off the scale, I get on scale 248.2. I get off scale, I get on scale 248.2. And like I was 243.8, 245.0. You know, I like I don't even know what the hell's going on here, and I'm not going crazy. Like I went out to eat the other night with my husband to Carabas and I didn't even eat but half the plate. Not even. Because like I took some home, you know, like I was so good. And I don't get it. I just don't get it. It's like my body does not want me to drink iced tea and does not want me to exercise. I don't know for what reason. I have no clue. I cannot describe it, explain it, nothing. I just, I'm like, I don't know what it is. And my camera's shaking quite a bit because my car is shaking quite a bit, but just so you know, I am in hubby's uh, gadget that he has that holds his phone to the uh, windshield. So, I don't know. Then I get off and the scale says it's 247 point something. I don't know. I wrote them both down at home on my sheet that I track daily. I, I handwrite everything that I, I bite and I write it. And then I also put it in my Spark People Nutrition Tracker. And plus 
my fitness minutes and all that at the end of the day. But, um, so I don't know what it is, you know. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go to Wally World right now. Walmart, for those who don't know. And, um, I'm gonna get another battery because I found a battery, but I'm not sure if it's, uh, good. Because usually I, if it's a good battery, I'll keep it in its packaging. For some reason it was out of its packaging, so I don't know if it's good or it's bad. And I want to be sure that it's not, that I just have to get a new scale. So it's probably going to cost me about five or six bucks for a new uh, 2032R, one of those round, huge round, like, watch-looking batteries or computer clock-type batteries um, that you put into your computer towers for those that have computers. Uh, and, um, yeah, see if it's not that, because if that's the problem, then... It's just going to cost me $5 and change. If that's not the problem, then it's the scale, and I need to get a new scale. But I hate changing scales in the middle of challenges, and I said that with the last challenge that we were doing. In the 90-day challenge, I didn't want to stop, and I've been playing around with the numbers, not knowing, you know, good or bad, what's going on. And now, like, thinking everything was okay with it, um... I didn't change it, and I went ahead and I used it to weigh in for the new challenge. So, I don't know, guys. I'm like, you know, I'm like, this fucking scale, it, it sucks. I don't know. Is it the fucking scale or is it my fucking weight? I don't know. And I normally don't come on here with, like, the use of strong, um vernaculars, we'll say, for a better part, or language, but I'm pissed. I'm like, I am so pissed. It's like, because I do everything I am supposed to do. I eat only what I'm supposed to eat. I am not binging. I'm kind of starving myself at times when I, when I need to eat, and I'm like, and I just feel like it's too late at night that I just don't want to eat, and I'm like, you know... This is not working for me, guys. I mean, I want to do better for me. I got to change something. I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know. I mean, I'm not giving up. I just got to keep going. And I've been telling that to other ladies that um, are in our group, you know. I've been giving them motivation and encouragement. There's no way I'm going to start getting down myself on, on, on what's going on because I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. It's just some weird thing. I mean, I'm not lifting weights or anything. I know muscle weighs more than fat, but, you know, somebody said to me, well, are your clothes getting any tighter? And I was like, you know, I really don't think there's a significant difference, even if it was 10 pounds. Like, you got to lose or, or gain 20 pounds to notice any kind of a difference, in my mind. I mean, especially when it comes to my clothes, like dropping a dress size or, or a pant size or whatever, definitely it's got to be at least 20 pounds. I don't think 10 pounds is a significant difference towards any kind of uh, gain or loss. And it won't be until the 20th of this month before I go doing any of my digital body measurements. Like, I did it the 20th of March, and I did it on the 20th of February, so I'm going to do it on the 20th of April. And that's got nothing to do with the challenge. That's just me for my, you know, to know that I'm doing something. Because if, if I'm changing, then, then I'm changing. And that's why I challenge myself. Because if you're not challenging yourself, you're not changing. And I can't fail um, if I'm trying. I mean, like, I, I might not succeed, but I'm not a failure because I, I didn't give up, to me. And, you know, like I told somebody else, and this is like a, a big thing. I don't know if it's like a nationally known or famous quote, but my quote is that I can't hit bottom if I don't stop digging. If I stop digging, then I've hit bottom. Because wherever I'm at at that point, if I stop, that's where I'm going to be. And, you know, somebody was saying something about the fact they were looking back and then in three years, all they've really lost was seven point some odd pounds. And you know what? For, I looked at that as, okay, I would be pissed too and it would be frustrating. But if I didn't ever go on my journey, I would have gained probably the amount of pounds that I had lost. And even though I regained after losing... You know, you think if I regain 50 pounds after losing almost 80, that's still 30 I've kept off in three years rather than in three years. I would have put that on in a year times three. 
I would have been over four or five hundred pounds by now. Who knows? You know? Like, I didn't even care to get on a scale before I started back in 2011. I didn't even know where my life was heading. Um, but, you know, I got off track and I got focused on other things. I was doing that sensey thing and I was focusing on trying to, to do better for, for somebody else and it took the focus off of me and what I was doing for me. So, I don't want to go there, you know. I'm not going to do that. I know that that was my failure that time around and so I learned from my mistake and I do something different this time around. That's all. I just change it, you know. <sighs> sippy, sippy. You know, I always think of this graveyard girl, Bunny. I, I love watching her. I don't know what it is about her. She's so entertaining. I would much rather watch YouTube videos than I would any other thing. I I'm not a big TV watcher. I keep the TV out in the living room. I'm always in my office, and I do not have TV on there. And if I watch anything, it would be Netflix or a movie or something, and it would be on my computer. And I love the fact that Voodoo, I realized that I bought a video in Walmart. It was a $5 video. And it told me, oh, you have a video, you can watch it on Vudu. And I was able to watch it on my computer and also on my TV has Vudu, which is because it's a smart TV. So I could watch it anywhere and I could, it says I could share it with friends. So for $5, I got to watch uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. Loved it. Didn't like the way it ended. I thought it should have been a little bit more sappy and romance, you know, with a kiss or something. But that didn't happen. It was one kiss and he kissed her, which is what brought her back to life. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't tell you guys that. Sorry, spoiler alert. Anyways, um, I gotta get into this store. Uh, get a couple of things, get back home. I've got a meeting tonight that I need to open up, and that's pretty much it. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your own loss if you're on a weight loss journey. I will definitely be seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys. Be blessed.